Okay, so it looks like I'm live now. So um, I wanted to talk about making um, Ubuntu themes and what is default, uh, what there is already in the components, and how to make new ones. So if uh, you look underneath where your uh, Ubuntu components is installed, uh, you can find it under user lib, whatever, uh, Qt5 QML Ubuntu components. And this is where the plugins are. Um, this is really not that important. Um, Sorry about that. Okay, back to where we were. Um, so this is where the plugins are located. If we do a list here, we can see that there's one uh, a folder here called themes. If we change directories into this folder called themes, we can see that we have three different themes here. We have ambience, suru dark, and suru gradient. If we were to change directories into, say, ambience right here, and we list it, we can see that each one of these is a style, sort of a style sheet, so to say, of uh, what the items are going to end up looking like on the screen, right? So if we say, open up a uh, palette, if we just cat palette.qml, you'll see that it shows what the background will be, what the color of the background text will be, and this is when it's normal and it's not selected, right? So if it's selected, then the background is going to be this color, right? Um, in the foreground color, in the overlay, and so on and so forth. If we list a little bit more, we can see the switch style, the slider style. Everything is right here. Um, and we can change directories into the artwork directory and look, and uh, I'll just use image magic here. Display, we'll say background paper.27 and that shows us this which is really nothing let's try I don't know bubble shadow or something bubble shadow at 20 pin and you can see the bubble shadow that comes and this is basically for the Ubuntu shape um, so Looking at all of these, you could actually just take and copy this, right? Um, or just go and download it from Bazaar. Now, if somebody were to make, say, images of something, uh, like what they wanted a certain theme to look like, then maybe a developer could come along and take that and uh, make this um, a theme for each one, right? So if we change directories back and we look again, we have Suru and Suru Gradient. Now how this is implemented is, is uh, I guess I'll just show it so it's the easiest uh, way to show it probably. It would be. So I'll just open up an IRC app that I've been working on as of late once uh, a Qt Creator opens up and loads. All right, so I'll just open up the IRC client here, and I will run this. Well, actually, let's look at the code really quick. Um, if we go into settings where I have this set up, and you can see that there is a themes.qml, and then I also have a model for it. And the model just says, you know, you can see right here, ambience, zero dark, and these are the uh, addresses of where it's located, right? Underneath that directory, Ubuntu components, themes, Suru dark, right? So that tells it where to go, kind of. Okay. So the more themes there would be, the more, uh, you know, dynamic the phone becomes at this point. And you can see that we have this list view. And uh, the important part 
here is that we change, when we click on OK, we are changing the theme name to our theme name in our model. Um, and just to show that, we can run and say, log into Ubuntu app devel and press OK. Go to settings, themes, and each one of the themes are listed there. You can see, and if I was to click on Suru Gradient and I press OK, it'll actually change the theme. And now the theme background color and the highlighted text, subtext, everything is underneath the way that the theme is uh, you know, loaded. And we can change multiple themes, or we could go back to ambience if we want to. Um, well, I am Joseph. Uh, I hope you found this video educational. Maybe we can make some. Uh, maybe we can make some more themes out there. That'd be kind of cool, right? All right.